Okay, we're finally, finally at the point where we can start doing something that you can't do without calculus. And that's going to be integration of a sphere. And this is from the, the book, from the uh, Princeton Review book, uh, example 915, Pr Princeton Review AP Physics C exam. And what they do, this is just part of the problem, because we haven't gotten to Gauss's law and things like that. What they do is they're talking about a sphere that has a non-uniform charge density. And that charge density is going to be this rho, that's the charge density. Which is just charge, oh, I wrote change, but you know charge, which we use the symbol Q, per unit volume, V. Okay, so to find the charge, we multiply the charge density times the volume. And that's what we're going to try to do, is we're going to find, try to find a charge of this entire sphere. And I'm going to write, since I can't draw in 3D, here's a sphere. Okay, now they give you an equation, or equation, expression for the charge density. They say charge density is a function of the radius the distance from the center, and they say this thing has a total radius A, okay, uh, and the distance from the center uh, gives you, excuse me, the, the charge density is a function of the distance of the center, and it's this charge density rho zero, it's just some constant, let me write that constant, rho zero times r squared over a squared. I think they just write it as r over a quantity squared. Okay, So in other words, if you start in at the middle, r is 0, there's no charge density, so there's not very much charge here. As you get farther and farther out, the charge density gets bigger and bigger. So there's more charge per unit volume out here than there is out there. If we just took a little chunk right there, a little uh, cube right there, that cube would have more charge than a cube in here. So when we talked about integration for physics, we said we want to add up all the little uh, elements. In this case, we want to find total charge. And in the book, in, in that example, they do a lot of other stuff that we'll get to uh, when we're farther along in ENM. But right now, I just want to use this example to show that we can find the total charge on that thing. And if you look at this, you can't do this without calculus. You really have to use calculus, and, and, and so it's going to end up, we're going to see what a useful tool this can be. Um, so we want to find the total charge. Total charge, I'll just call it Q total. We, I could call it just Q, but I want to be really absolutely clear about this. Is going to be what we find if we add up all the little differential charges. So I'm going to integrate over that whole thing all the little charge elements dq. These are the infinitesimal charge elements. Infinitesimal. Oh my gosh. I'm having a spelling decimal charge elements. So the charges of all the different little chunks uh, uh, in that sphere. Now, here's two things I want you to remember about this. One is uh, you need to exploit symmetry. Okay, In other words, I don't. if this chunk is the same as this chunk, I'd kind of like to group them together. So symmetry is a big deal. The other thing is I've got to be really careful for how I choose my infinitesimal element. For example, you know, maybe you'd say, oh, let's do this. Let's, let's Let's pick a little pie slice like that. Of course, it would have to be three-dimensional. Um, the problem with that is something in here has a different charge density than something in here. You want things, uh, when you're integrating over this, this charge, you want to group together things that are similar. This area is not similar to this area. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to say, oh, okay, when I look at this charge density, everything at the same distance from the center will have the same uh, charge density. So for example, right here, 
that spot will have the same charge density as this spot, as this spot. And you can see what we've got is everything that's equidistant from the center will have the same charge density. So we want our infinitesimal, our differential, and let me write that down there, differential charge elements. to be the same distance, how to, how to put that, every charge element should have all the spots that are the same distance, one distance R from the center. And if we're talking about a sphere, then this ends up being a shell. Okay, an infinitesimally thick shell. Let me draw that. So we want this is going to be our integration variable. So in other words, you can kind of see that this shell, every point on it has the same charge density. If it's infinitesimally thin, very, very thin. If it's thick, then of course, the inside of the shell and the outside of the shell would have a different charge density. But if we shrink it down so it's really thin, it's going to have one charge density. So we can treat it like one, uh, one charge object that we can write an expression for. That's very important. So then another one would be out here. I've got another, uh, this is so hard to draw beautifully, so I apologize, I can't do that. Here's another one. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to add together all of those shells, the charge elements of each one of those shells. So the DQ for a little tiny one in there and the DQ for a bigger one, bigger one, bigger one. We add up all those DQs over the whole thing and we'll end up having the total charge. So let's get started on that. When I say I want to integrate, and by the way, so my integration variable, I'm going to be going from here out to there. I'm going to be changing R. I'm going to be integrating over R. So Q total is going to be the integral. I'm going to start in the middle and go to the outside. It really doesn't matter what direction you go. The outside is A. I'm going to keep integrating. I'm going to add up all the things until I reach that outermost shell, which has a radius A. So I'm going to go from 0 to A, all my charge elements. Okay, but this charge element, the charge, let's just pick this shell right here. Um, that char the charge on that is going to be rho of that R times the volume. In other words, charge density is charge over volume, so charge is going to be charge density times volume. Okay, and we can write those things a little better. We have an expression for rho of r, 0 to a. Rho of r, as we found above, is just rho 0 times r over a, quantity squared. The volume of the sphere, I'm going to put that like that, the volume of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. That's the area of this, of the, uh, excuse me, I'm trying to find the volume of a shell. The volume of the shell is going to be 4 pi r squared, that's the surface area of the shell, times the thickness of dr. Okay, that only works if we're infinitesimally small. If this shell were th had any kind of thickness, we'd have to have the volume of the outer sphere minus the volume of the hollowed out part. But since it's infinitesimally thin, we can just take the surface area of the shell, surface area, times thickness. Okay, now we can start grouping things. One of the big things you want to do is, um, for integration, let me write it over here. For integration, integral of a constant times, let's say, x squared dx is just k times the integral of x squared dx. You can take the constant out front. So let's take all the things that don't depend on r. Rho zero is a constant, a is a constant, 4 and pi are constants. So we can write that as rho zero, 4 pi over a squared times the integral from 0 to a of r squared times r squared, that's r to the fourth, dr. r to the fourth dr is easy to integrate, so we have rho 0, 4 pi over a squared, r to the fifth over 5, going from 0 to a. We're going to evaluate it between 0 and a. I'm going to put this on the same line because I'm running low on paper. 
rho 0, 4 pi over a squared times a to the fifth over 5 minus 0 to the fifth over 5. a to the fifth over 5 minus 0 to the fifth, which is just 0, of course, over 5. So we have this expression here. When we simplify that a to the fifth divided by a squared, we end up having, oh, let me write it like this, rho 0, 4 pi, a to the third, divided by 5. So the total charge in that whole thing is like that.